We bring the old school, and you bring the new. How about a hot music collab, huh? I think animals all ready to lay down our drum track. That was perfect. What? What? I don't think the band is digging any of this. It is so hot, I'm gonna pass out! You feeling this? Yeah. Sure. We did it! See? Happy. They're always happy. Wee. Watch. Hey guys, look. I got a fork. Hey. What was your personal history with the Muppets before joining this project? You've got Sesame Street. You've got for Muppets specifically. It was uh, Muppets Take Manhattan for me. That's the one that really holds uh, a lot of memory in the in the, in the memory bank. <laughs> yeah, I feel like for me it was Sesame Street as well. I'm not going to lie compared to my two co-stars here. I don't think I had as much of the experience growing up. I kind of got more into the Muppets as I got older and especially in prep for this project. But it's been like the joy of my adult life <laughs> to have this experience. <laughs> Um, but for me, it would have been Sesame Street as well. Same. Uh, Sesame Street was definitely my initial introduction to it. But I heard stories of like my dad watching the Muppets growing up and, and how special it was to him. And so I think at some point in our lives, we all cross paths with the Muppets right. in some shape or form, some capacity. Um, and then working with them was just a step further. And now it's like, I'm never leaving. Yeah. I'm never leaving this world. I'm obsessed with it. Yeah. I love them too much. <laughs> Tell me about what it was like on set with the mayhem. Yeah, so I'm going to talk about my first day because my first scene was all six of the Muppets at one time. And I, it was, I was, I don't know, a professional person. Pretty <laughs> organized. I come prepared. Pretty organized. Yeah, Pretty. I, I have several label makers. She's a label um, maker in your trailer. I do, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> uh, it's my tra it's my trailer label maker because I know if I need one at home, my <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> actually I do. I, you're right. Um, but I was I'm a pretty professional prepared person, and so when I was on set for the first time with the Muppets, I did find myself fumbling and stumbling a bit because I was starstruck. I was like, this is so cool. Not only are they so cool and are only they so iconic, but like the stage is so cool and the technicalities, how they're shooting is so cool. So the experience for me was just, I learned 10 new things every day. <laughs> I was fangirling every day and I had the most fun I've ever had before. So it was just, I can genuinely say, of course, I want this show to be a success and I want there to be a 10 million more seasons. <laughs> but even if none of that were to happen, I would feel like a complete winner having a <laughs> Yeah, set the the life on set during this show was just it it never got old. And like that initial reaction my first day, I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I'm here, like animals right there. I'm in a scene with them." Like, "What?" And I remember you looking at me freaking out. Oh, yeah. I was like, I was like, like, yeah, like, yeah. I was like looking, like, "What? Like, we out here like what?" <laughs> like, cuz they just it was just yeah. go, you know? Yeah. Um and it was just crazy and to to have the the realization that this feeling was every day. Yeah, it was <laughs> was mind blowing. Yeah, yeah. Mind blowing, and to see the celebrity cameos come in and be just as thrown as you were to meet them was such a treat. Yeah, when Morgan Freeman or like all these different cameos that we had <laughs> yeah. freak out in the same way that you are, or like the Muppets are able to pull their silliness out, and you like never expected to see mm -hmm. these like incredible people be so silly or freak out in the way that they do like that's really and really like, and just special down to play and like, down to play yeah. like, every moment was just surreal and I was pinching myself at all time asking them to pinch me like there were some moments where I was like this cannot be real life like this mm -hmm. isn't normal this isn't regular but mm -hmm. and this was our reality for several yeah. months but at the same time despite it being so surreal like these characters are all so grounded and mm -hmm. you get a chance to look into their lives in a new way that we've never seen before and so for that reason at the same time it was really grounding at the same mm -hmm. like it was it was really grounding to just be around these characters that were so real yeah too. there was a lot of heart right well i mean tosh i guess you weren't really acting when you were playing the their biggest fan right that was easy listen when i tell you i had to sort of pull it back myself because i'm like <laughs> all right like oh, you're tripping out man but no yeah it was very easy um and obviously moog has other emotions uh but that main one of being a super fan was very easy to play because i myself was fanboying out every day well do you think the muppets kind of changed your uh, approach to performance will you be taking some of these lessons on to the next job i think uh a muppets uh project is a muppets project nothing is ever going to breathe like you can't really bring it to some uh, another project because it's just Muppets. I would say one thing though, <laughs> something has changed in me and that is understanding that 
fun and joy is a priority for me. Like I will have a very hard time going to another set yeah. if oh, the crew yeah. and the not. energy is not like the Muppets. And this is like a blessing, but I'm gonna have a but really hard time. Right now, it's not. Yeah, I know. Right I know. <laughs> I'm gonna have a really hard time. I'm nervous to go to onto any other and set. And our show is instant. I remember like the first week I was like, damn, I people yeah, like, yeah. like you know what i mean like just have full conversations with mm -hmm. crew members every day mm -hmm. you know it's, it's just a beautiful atmosphere and environment totally yeah so lily it's label making and then having fun on set, or is it now it's ah. fun on set and then label you making. know what this is how it would go down if i was making a okay. list i would get out of labels okay. and so okay. i would the first label would be having fun okay. yes okay, yes. First okay. Label. Was <laughs> label making fun are those not synonyms come on <laughs> it's exactly no. the same in her books no but at the same time i think something we learned is from my brand now it's my brand <laughs> <laughs> i'm okay with it <laughs> okay with it being my brand no i think something else that we learned from them in all seriousness is like their performance skills like these performers are so undeniably talented oh. and their ability to like multitask and do everything all at once is incredible but their comedy improv skills are just unmatched yeah, yeah. like I was thrown onto set that first day and I think I was with Zoot and Floyd in separate like short scenes and the way that they were told things secretly by our producers and directors to like throw at me and it was just like bam 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 and they were like testing me to see what I would do and I, I survived but like <laughs> they just pushed me to be the best that I that I could be and mm -hmm. I think that's the magic of the mayhem is that yeah. there's they are the best and they push you to be your best self I think one thing I'll say I'll, is in a nutshell you know what it is about the show I've come up with the perfect phrase it's no corners were cut no oh. right. across every single thing I've never been on a set where they're like no from the yeah, set yeah, 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 yeah. to the wardrobe the Muppets are wearing to, no corners will be cut the yeah. quality is just chef's kiss Yes. I, I loved it so much. And guys, thank you so much for chatting with me. Uh, hopefully we'll talk on season two. Yes, sir. And three, four, five, six, seven.